Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Venetia Alexander Marshall. Welcome. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome as well. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button at the bottom and make sure that you're clicking the bell. So when you are on YouTube, you see that you receive that notification and you'll know that that's me uploading on YouTube. So today you can't really see representing my saints. Yep. The saints are playing. The TV's right there. The game comes on in a few minutes. And yeah, so I decided to go ahead and let's do this New Year's makeup look. I'm not really sure if this is gonna be my final New Year's makeup look. Um, I haven't really decided yet. Um, but right now, from what I see on the monitor, and I'm really liking what I see. The majority of the makeup I am wearing today is Maybelline. So I decided to do an up, really just to update the Maybelline makeup that I have. So I got some new Maybelline. A lot of these items, if you pay attention to a lot of people on YouTube, you've already seen these. A lot of this I've never tried. What really got me trying the Maybelline was the recent new YouTube video, video that Jackie Ina did and she did compare a bunch of mocha shades so and one of the shades she did was Maybelline the Maybelline fit me foundation in mocha and I went I've never tried the Maybelline fit me foundation I've heard so much stuff about this Maybelline fit me makeup I decided that I wanted to go ahead and try it the only things that I featured on my channel before has always been the Maybelline Superstay Foundation and the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. But I have some new stuff and a few of these you've seen YouTubers talk about it before. So I thought, okay, well let me see what's all the hype about this new Maybelline. It's not really new, but let me just try it out. So I did, so the majority of the makeup I am wearing, it is Maybelline. Everything that I am wearing, I am gonna put in the bottom of the description box. So you can go ahead and purchase yours too. So if you're like me, haven't tried the new Maybelline, don't, you're not by yourself, I'm with you. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I will say this before I get started. Um, not everything is Maybelline. One thing I did forget was the highlighter. And it was long after I came home and I had posted the picture of the Maybelline makeup that I had picked up on Instagram. And my friend was like, you really need to try the highlighter. And I went, oh my God, I forgot to get the highlighter. I forgot. And I looked dead at the highlighter and Walmart and walked out and forgot to get the highlighter. So you know what? We're going to go ahead. I still made it work. I am loving the look. So let's get started. So we're going to start I prime my face. So I've seen this on a YouTuber before where she tried this. This is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. It can also be used as a primer. And let me just tell you this, guys. I put this on my face, this Maybelline primer. Well, you know, this baby skin. This is now officially in competition with my e.l.f. makeup primer. So for those of you that are new to my channel, I absolutely love that uh, primer from e.l.f. But after putting this on my face this morning from Maybelline, I don't know guys, this is now officially in competition. So now I can see myself definitely purchasing a few tubes of this. So I absolutely love, love, love this Maybelline Better better skin baby skin i'm absolutely loving this as a primer so foundation again i saw the video from jackie i when she compared the different mocha shades i'm kind of like her al may actually went darker <laughs> that's another video you have to see her video to, to to know what i'm talking about so i did pick up the maybelline fit me foundation here it is it is in the color mocha and I like my foundations to go on a little dark. I like to be about a shade darker and this did go on a shade darker. 
It has set on my face. It has set on my face beautifully. I love it. And what I really liked, this foundation I picked up was $5.47. $5.47. I want to say this baby skin bottle was all, I think it was also about five or six dollars. Wasn't expensive at all all not at all and for those of you that are new to my channel i am a jewelry merchandiser so i am all about deals i'm all about bringing the deals to you my booth is in a flea market in prairie view louisiana a lot of my jewelry items that i offer at the flea market are five dollars and below however on my website they do go up as high as forty dollars on my website but actually on the booth at the flea market five dollars is the most that you're gonna go and below. You're looking for deals, and I love bringing you deals. So, so far, so good with this makeup. I am so far going, yay! Now, this is something else I've heard so much about on YouTube. So I finally decided to pick up the Maybelline age reading the a the instant age rewind concealer this is in the color golden i tried this first of all it does take a little while before it actually comes up here it is right here again it's in the shade golden i did go a little heavy-handed i'm looking on the monitor it's kind of toned down some but i did go a little heavy-handed um with the concealer a little bit but this is a concealer in a while. I haven't seen immediate creasing. I always, 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 when I put concealer under my eyes, under here, I get creasing so fast, it's not even funny. In some con other concealers, it may take a while before it creases. This did not crease right away. It did not. So I'm like, okay, this is gonna be a concealer I'm gonna be using quite a bit, um, uh, quite a bit of this uh, concealer. Um, as you guys know, the other concealer, the Maybelline um, Superstay Better Skin Concealer, I really do like that concealer. I'm almost out of that concealer. So this is one I would definitely use again. Um, now, I did not pick up a bronzer. I really didn't. So I went back with the bronzer I just tried out on yesterday in my previous video on uh, trying out Wet n Wild. Um, so I use the Wet n Wild bronzer. I'm still in love with this bronzer. I absolutely love this bronzer. Um, now for finishing powder, I've heard about this finishing powder as well. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. This is in the color Deep. Here it is. And here it is right here. Yeah, you see football on the TV. <laughs> love this powder i was told that i would really really like a lot of the maybelline fit me cosmetics and so far i'm not disappointed with the cosmetics at all i am absolutely loving this again i, I i'm trying to remember how much i paid for this it wasn't very i want to say this was also about five or six dollars wasn't expensive at all definitely get this if you have not purchased this please get this but come on camera come on there you go please get that yeah yeah see you brought this burger on the, <laughs> yeah um for blush i am also for blush i use the maybelline fit me blush here it is um did go on a little light i did put quite a bit on my brush and tried to work it in i don't know if you can see I don't know if you can see it right up in here. It did go on a little light. This would be something you would really have to work with quite a bit. Um, it doesn't go on as heavy as the um, Elf Mellow Moth blush, but this is a workable blush. And again, it's not expensive at all. Five bucks. You're not going to break the bank with this at all. So again, if you were like me and haven't tried the Maybelline Fit Me Cosmetics, you need to try it. You really do really need to try that. 
Um, now, I did not get a contour or a highlight, like I said. So for highlight, I went with the Makeup Revolution Vivid Bake Highlighter. Um, again, this is like seven. This was, I think I paid $8 for this at Ulta. So I did use that since I forgot to pick up the highlighter from, from the store from Maybelline. I forgot. For contour, I went back with my uh, go-to contour palette from e.l.f. This is the cream contour palette. I did contour because I had to do a little bit more of the contour because I did go a little heavy handed with the Maybelline concealer, but I was able to tone it down. And as you can see, it's working just fine on my face. So then I went back with a powder contour to really bring it out right here. So I used the LA Colors uh, Contour Palette. This is in the color Deep. Um, you could get this, this is a dollar. This is not expensive at all um, because I, yeah, I just really want to bring that out. And then put the Maybelline Fit Me Blush on top and you can see it's kind of light. So you really have to work with that. Um, for eyeshadow, I did not pick up eyes. I don't think they had any more eyeshadows at Walmart. The Maybelline eyeshadows, I didn't see any. So I just went back with the Wet n Wild eyeshadow from what I just tested out last night. Um, I actually went with two colors in this palette this time. I'm really, like, I'm really liking this pink. The pink shimmers are really coming out in this palette. So if you haven't tried the Wet n Wild, you really need to. Um, this time I started off with just this darker color down here at the bottom. And then I went back with this pink shimmer here. And in my inner eye right here, I went with the gold right here because I'm representing the saints in <laughs> it. Black and gold, so I had to represent the saints. <laughs> now for mascara, mascara, mascara. <laughs> I've seen this quite a bit. I've actually seen a couple of YouTubers use this. This is the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. This is probably one, uh, it's okay. Um, would I use it again? I would just to use it up. I don't know if I would get it again. I would probably try something else Maybelline, uh, another Maybelline mascara. This was just okay for me. It did not, for those of you that are new to my channel, I don't wear false lashes. So I tried to find a mascara that would give me great volume that would make it look like the illusion of uh, false lashes. This really did not give me that very much. Um, so that was the one I was kind of like, yeah, it's okay. Um, last but not least, I picked up for my lips. This is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Lip Gloss. This is number 75. This is more of like a, I don't know, like a burgundy mauve kind of color. I like the color. It's pretty good. Um, what I did was, I'm not really into completely matte lip glosses. So what I did was I just took this lip gloss, put it on my lips, and then I topped it with a clear lip gloss. And just top it off with your favorite lip gloss of your choice. And that's it. This is my final look. I am football ready, even though I'll be watching it right there on the TV. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this video again if you have not tried the Maybelline Fit Me Cosmetics please try it out it is great it is a great price it's not going to break the bank or anything like that um, nine times out of ten I'm saying nine times out of ten and I may end up changing my mind depending on how I'm feeling tomorrow um for New Year's Eve, um, as you can kind of hear if you haven't heard, there's no, it's very quiet in this house because there's nobody here. <laughs> so um, my husband is in Minnesota. He's, him and his brother are going to the Minnesota Vikings Chicago Bears game in Minnesota. My kids are with their cousins uh, this weekend. So it's just me. <laughs> so I'm going to continue wearing this look while rooting on my New Orleans Saints. So I don't know if this is going to be the look I'm going to go for for New Year's. Um, my final New Year's look I will more than likely post on Instagram or I might do a get ready with me depending on how I feel and how my husband feels because he's flying home tomorrow evening and the weather is supposed to be bad here. So we shall see. So with that being said, I hope I was a help to you. If you have not tried the Maybelline Fit Me Cosmetics yet, please pick it up today. That being said, this is Venetia Alexander Marshall. I hope everybody have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>